On Saturday, a group of UCLA employees and ASUCLA student workers gathered in Westwood for a protest calling for increased wages and benefits for all UCLA employees. The main protesters were the UCLA campus and hospital employees, who called for higher living wages and charged UCLA with unsatisfactory pay plans. As, a, as an employee here, I have to have a, another full-time employee somewhere else, and even that is not enough to make ends meet. Um, on top of that, um, if I ever wanted to send my kids here, I can't afford it. And they While they cannot be reached immediately for comment, UCLA has responded to similar charges by workers in the past by stating that there is not sufficient funding available for wage increases. Another group of the protest were the ASUCLA student workers, who gathered to demand the creation of a union for student employees, citing low wages and job insecurity. So we're calling for unionization of ASUCLA student workers, and that's to guarantee that student workers are given a voice and given a way to channel all these inequities that are going on in the workplace. It's well, like, for example, I worked in the Cooperage, and um, I have, like, shoulder problems, and I was going to a doctor, and he had a note for me. He's like, I don't want you going to work. It's just going to get way worse. I gave it to the Cooperage, and the managers fired me straight up, and we have no job security, and student workers are, um, they they get no respect. Last week, the ASUCLA Board of Directors declared a neutral position on the issue of student worker unionization. Protesters met on the corner of Westwood and LeConte and marched up and down Westwood Plaza. They then sat down in the middle of Westwood Plaza, stopping traffic. The police soon gave the protesters a few minutes to disperse from the street, and they complied with the order. They told us, they warned us to not uh, block the traffic, and they gave us an uh, ample amount of time to uh, disperse and we, we dispersed timely. The protesters then continued marching onto UCLA's campus during the LA Times Festival of Books, hoping to attract attention to their cause while the festival was bringing in more foot traffic on campus. The group shared their message with the crowds for about an hour before eventually disbanding. Time will tell if these calls will have any effect on the UCLA workers in the near future. For Daily Bruin TV, this is Josh Lieber.